Hi, and welcome to Prepping Essentials. I was sorting through the pantry and the long-term food storage cupboards just to see what I wanted to add to my normal shopping list for the weekend and to tot up and see how many extra cans I needed to put into the long-term food storage. And looking at the labels, there's lots of different terminology which indicates the expiry date of the products. And that prompted me to do this video. Some of you might be very familiar with these, but others not. Uh, but do look, wait until the end because I'm sure you'll find at least one thing that perhaps you didn't know. So let's find out. When setting aside food in the pantry or in the long-term food storage cupboards, it's very important to understand the labelling so that you know how long the products can safely be stored. It's also very important to regularly check the expiry dates printed on the cans, packets or containers in any of your food storage cupboards so that when the expiry dates are approaching, you can move them from long-term storage into the pantry so they're ready to use and then next time you're shopping, buy some replacement items for the long-term storage cupboards. The product labels on food provide a wide range of information about the food and the terminology that's used to indicate how long it can be safely stored can sometimes be confusing. So I thought I'd run through some of the more common labelling terms. The first of these is something called a use-by date. You'll see use by dates on food that perishes quickly, such as fresh bread, fish, meat and ready prepared salads. You should not use any food after its use by date on the label, even if it looks and smells OK. Otherwise, you could be putting your health at risk. For the use by date to remain valid, you must also follow the storage instructions displayed on the packaging, such as keep in a refrigerator or eat within three days of opening. If you don't follow these instructions, the food will spoil more quickly and you may risk food poisoning. You should also bear in mind that if the use by date is tomorrow, then you must use the food by the end of tomorrow. Even if the label says eat within a week of opening and you've only just opened the packet today. The good news is that much of this food can be frozen, so that its life can therefore be extended well before its use by date. But if you do this, please make sure you also follow any instructions on the pack, such as cook from frozen or defrost thoroughly before use and use within 24 hours. When it comes to food, the use by dates are the most important dates to consider, as these relate specifically to food safety rather than food quality. Next is something called best before date. Best before dates appear on a wide range of frozen, dried, tinned and other foods. Best before dates are about retaining the quality of the food, not food safety. When the date is passed, it doesn't necessarily mean that the food will be harmful if you eat it. What it really means is that the food might begin to lose its flavour, texture or nutritional value after that date. Also bear in mind that the best before date will only be accurate if the food is stored in according to the instructions on the label, such as store in a cool dry place or keep in the fridge once opened. Obviously the same applies to the condition of the product packaging. so. Check the integrity of your packaging or containers carefully, as any damage will affect the storage life and the safety of the product. The shelf life of many foods, especially dried goods, can be greatly extended well beyond the date shown on the original packaging, if it's repacked into vacuum sealed containers. You may well have seen this in one of my previous videos, where I showed some examples of dried food stored in recycled soda bottles, which were packed in 2014 and 2015, yet which are still in perfect condition today in 2019. The last of these is the display until or sell by date. 
Retailers often use sell-by and display until dates on their packaging. These are mainly used for stock control purposes and don't really show an expiry date. They're not required by law and they're instructions for shop staff, not for shoppers. Quite often, however, these dates will be accompanied by other dates which do indicate the shelf life of the product. But in all cases, the important dates for you to look for are the use by or the best before dates. This brings us on to the subject of the expiry date itself. Whatever the packaging, some form of expiry date will be clearly displayed. Usually this will be alongside a label such as best before or use by. Expiry dates may be written in a number of different formats, such as the year, the month and the year, or even the day, the month and the year. Usually the date is obvious. However, depending on the format, sometimes the expiry date may not be so obvious and indeed sometimes it might seem to make no sense at all. A good example of this can be seen in this picture of a source sachet. The sachet displays a BBE best before end date of 20140. Clearly this doesn't make sense when trying to establish a month and year of expiry. However, it does make sense if you know about something called the Julian date. This is a reference to the historical Julian calendar which predated the use of the Gregorian calendar that's used in the majority of modern countries. The Julian date is used in some specialist professions or in research fields and it's used to calculate the days which have passed between two events, for example, between a food production date and a best before date. It consists of five digits, the first two of which indicate the year and the remaining three digits indicate a total number of days in that year. Therefore, the best before end date of 20140 on the sachet in the picture can be interpreted as being 20, meaning the year 2020, and 140, which means the 140th day in the year 2020, which if you do the math means the 19th of May 2020. Hopefully that uh, has made the subject of food labelling and expiry dates a little bit clearer. Uh, as I said before, the two key ones to look for are the use by date, which is the date after which the food is not safe to eat, and the best before date, uh, which is the date after which the quality of the food might start to deteriorate over time, but it's still perfectly okay to eat. Well, I hope that you found something in there that was of use to you. If you did enjoy the video, then please do click on the like button. Also, feel free to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. As always, I welcome any of your comments, questions or suggestions. Feel free to leave them in the comment section below. But for now, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.